Okay, guys, just a really quick update with Bitcoin. I'm going to give you some key support resistance levels to long and short. Remember, you can access all these live charts on the website, pinned in first comment description. If you have a big affiliate link, that's also pinned in first comment description as well. Uh, the last video, guys, this was yesterday. I'll put a link up to it now. I was giving you an ideal point too short. I said around 30,500, 30,600. Listen to what I said. Right here, this is another chart. You can see how much support and resistance this has been. This blue line right here. Let me bring this out. So again, if we push up, a likely point to short 30,500, 30,600. Again, key support 29,700. If we come down, this is your next support level below 28,900. Write these down and see. Just just practice. Do simulated trades if you want. Write them down on a piece of paper and just see if you would have put in a long where I mentioned or put in a short. See if you would have uh, been successful with that trade. So I said uh, 30,500, 30,600 looked like an ideal point to put in a short. And you can see how this played out. We topped out right here at 30,626. We came down. So currently on the H1 chart, your resistance to watch right now to potentially enter a short is 27,780. If we get above that and hold support, well, your next strong resistance above is right here at 30,678. If we can get above 29,779. If not, we're coming down to support uh, around 28. This is close to 29,000. That's your next support level to watch. As I mentioned in yesterday's video, there's a lot of support around 27,500, 27,200 to so pay attention to that target. Uh, on Twitter, I'll keep you guys updated. This was uh, 17 hours ago. What I was pointing out was the Dow Jones was at resistance. Uh, and as I mentioned, 30,500 looked like a likely point too short. And we did come down from that point. Also made a post. Uh, this was... Let's see here, 41 minutes ago when I was talking about the O1 chart and A1 chart. You can see how much the Dow dropped. Obviously, Bitcoin came down as well. This is aftermarket trading. I'll we'll see your next support level on the O1 chart A1 chart was 29,500. And you can see how this played out. We got a bounce here. We need to see if it holds 29,500. If we push up, again, next strongest resistance right now is 30,500, 30,600. As I mentioned, guys, a lot of charts showing 28,500, 29,000 is your next support level below. And if we drop below that, the next strongest support is 27,200, 27,500. These are just different charts showing the same thing, 27,500. Current support is 29,500. Uh, let's go on, guys. This is a Q1 chart. You see, currently we're holding at 29,626. Again, these support levels we're currently holding, if they break, then those downside targets I gave you are potential points too long. Uh, let's go on. This is the C1 chart, just showing you the confluence. Again, another chart showing around 29,000 and 27,200. Same uh, targets I mentioned in the previous video. Uh, this is the M1 chart, guys. Uh, keep in mind, this is our strongest support. Uh, this is 28,749. We have looked below it before. Uh, your next strongest support, notice this arrow right here, 25,327. Uh, I think if we break 26,680, actually right below us is 26,463. If this breaks, we have much more downsides. So pay attention to that. It's a very strong support level. Uh, again, again, guys, uh, you can see the Dow is dropping. This is currently our resistance. You see the MACD and the RSI look overextended. So if we have a lot of downside with the markets, expect more downside with Bitcoin. And you can see the Dow is currently down 255 points. Guys, if you want to access these charts, you can on the website, uh, pin the first comment description. And remember, if you want to use my Bitcoin affiliate link, it's also pin the first comment description as well. That's it, guys. Trade safe, trade smart. I'm out.